What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the carto carto cartographia. Cart where's the where's the break? Where's the word break? Josh, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. Fifty-two months. That is a whole year's worth of months if months were weeks. Exactly. Exactly. So we're gonna do the the cart cartograph cart the cart the cart cube and and then later old vintage cube not later today because it's not out but maybe tomorrow when it's out so we're just going to wait for this eighth player to join us all right here we are welcome 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 well there's no power in this pack unfortunately just kidding there's no power in this cube as far as i know there are four copies. There's two copies of each dual land and two copies of each fetch land, if I'm if I recall correctly. Um, I kind of just want Trop here, to be honest with you. Or Wooded Foothills. Let's take Wooded Foothills. There's nothing in that pack that excited me at all. I kind of just want Torrential Gear Hulk again because it's just so good. Fires of Mountain Doom. When it enters the battlefield, it heals two damage to target creature and opponent control. So it's a three mana shock, right? Destroy all equipment attached to it. Oh, okay. Exile the top card of your library for three mana. You may play that card this turn. If you do play a card this way, it deals two damage to each player. That's interesting, but that requires a really low curve. Because like if you if you pay three mana to exile the card, like how much mana are you gonna have left over? Let's say it's turn six. Well, you got three drop. You have to hit like something that costs three or less. I don't know. Kind of brutal. Green Sun's Twilight. There's a Marsh Flats. Three one for two. Defending player controls. With power less than it can't block it. Can't block this turn. A six mana with a domain effect. I don't know. I'm just taking Marsh Flats here. I don't know where we're going. I know none of these cards are really... really calling out to me. Escape to the Wilds seems pretty juicy. Also a Ketria Triome. When you cast your second spell, put two 1-1 one -one counters on it. It gains Menace. Sure. Also Fertile Ground. I think we're just taking Escape here. What is this? This is the Cartographia cube. Cart Cartographia? Cartographia? <sighs> Not gonna work here anymore. Two, three for three. I, I this was this is a standard card for a while. Whenever one or more creatures you control do a combat damage to a player, or create a treasure token. So you're only making one treasure a turn. And then you can exile the top card of the library and play that card. Ah oh, yes, Minachi. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, we have a green, and we have a wooded foothills. We can get this Kogla. I also don't dislike Swift Reconfiguration. There's also a Worn Power Stone. I think I'm just taking Worn Power Stone here. I don't know what we're ramping into, but maybe it's something. I do like an Obnixilis. No, this is not the Obnixilis I, I like. Uh, as long as you control four more artifacts, this has hex proof, and then you can tap two untapped artifacts to draw a card. I don't hate it. It's actually kind of sweet. There's also a Fatal Push, a Tear Asunder, which I really like. I think I'm just taking the Tear Asunder here. See if that does anything. Special boy draft. <laughs> oh yes. What is I can't wait for the set with the uh the set code BOI. Okay, we have a sheltered thicket, which is not only a dual land, it's a dual land you can search for. Um a braid might be better. I do like an a braid. Hmm. 
mean, it's nice to have things we can search for, but there is a ton of lands in this cube as far as I know. I'm going to take the Abrade, especially with artifacts being so prevalent. At the beginning of your end step, choose a permanent card in your graveyard. You may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with it. If you do return the chosen card from your graveyard to the battlefield, it gains if this permanent leaves exile. Sure. So you're just, it's just a, you're doing the old switcheroo. Draw a card if you created a token. Sacrifice it for eight mana and you create a 10 10. That's a lot. Sure, an artifact. Make three one ones. At the beginning of your end step, return it to its owner's hand. It's a 2 2 haster. None of these cards are exciting. I feel bad. I wish I was more excited about these cards. I guess I'll none of these. Okay, sure. Literally, like none of these just none of these just go into the deck I'm I'm building here. Unfortunately. Um voltage surge. Deals two damage to a planes creature or planeswalker. If you sack an artifact, you deal four. Destroy an artifact, exile the top three cards of target opponent's library, choose one of them, and you may play it until the end of your next turn i think i just want to touch the sphere realm but again like what am i doing here i don't know but this is the best card in the pack maybe i'm four four color no blue here i don't know oh what up shua garner um dragon wing glider might be fine again Yeah, I'm just going to take the glider again. Presuming I'm base red. Maybe we're Naya? I, I don't know, man. Terra Tira Sunderwear, more like it. Is it? Is that more like it? Well, the vintage cube actually starts up again tomorrow. So, you know, hold on to your hold on to your butts. Each opponent destroy up to one artifact or enchantment that player controls. So, three mana destroy an artifact or an enchantment for eight mana. You can destroy all artifacts and enchantments. I'll just take cast down. Irrigated farmland. It's a dual land in the one color that we are not. Draw a card if you control an artifact. Draw a card if you control an enchantment. I'll still take it. I don't know what we're gonna what we're gonna end up with, but creature tokens you control have haste. Whenever one of our creatures attack, you may pay two. If you do, creatures attacking your opponent, opponent you get plus two plus. That's actually that's. That seems decent. I mean, I think we're just... Oh, well, there is an Obnixilis. Sure. Okay, I guess I think we're just more black now. I think we're just more Naya. Get your hands on Lord Kalanen yet. No, no, I have not seen a single card in a single store, so. This guy's just a 3-1 that can't block, and then for 6 mana you can return it from your graveyard to the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it, so it's a 4-2. And then it costs 4 less if an opponent controls 4 more non-basic lands. So it costs 2 mana to do it, if, if they do. Well, that's nice. There are two good lands in here, both of the colors that I'm not playing. Both are both are white. Okay. 
Uh, I think it's probably Sky Sovereign. That card's just ridiculous. Painful Truth's also sweet. Null Priest is cool if it comes back. How many cards in here destroy artifacts and enchantments? There's like a thousand. Create a treasure for each creature that died this turn. What a cat devil. I think we're just taking Sky Sovereign. Sky Sovereign's an absolute beating. This guy gets two counters, right? If you do, put three 1-1 one -one counters on it. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, you may have target player loose. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, you may play after. It's actually pretty good. That's kind of wild, actually. Your first land, if you play a fetch land, he's a 9-9 and your opponent takes 6. Surprised that. Surprised he doesn't. Okay, two more lands, both colors that we are not. That's <laughs> that's nice. All right, so white, 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 two lands, white, blue, blue. Okay, so we have maybe three, three or so cards that we can pick from here. Other enchantment creatures you control get plus one, plus one. See, I think the problem is I'm not drafting around the themes in this cube because. Because the cards for the themes are kind of unimpressive to me. Like, I don't want to take a Sithis and a cube for some reason. So instead, I'm like, I'll just take Fire Prophecy. And I think that's been fine. I mean, we could easily just take one of these anyway. Yeah, I'll just take the Misty Rainforest. Oh, Scalding Tarn. Um, I actually, fuck, I actually really like Two-Headed Hellkite. This guy's in my cube as well. Now I'm wondering if we just play five colors. And you know what? I'm taking this. Scrubby Bubby. Okay. Okay. Uh, yesterday we drafted like a, a blue, just, it was like a blue red tempo control deck. Yeah, we'll just take Scrubland. We can only get it with Marsh Flats right now, but I bet we can get another, another land. Like, you know what? I'm just tired of not taking the best cards in the pack, so we're just going to five color it. Oh, I do like a Gilded Goose. A lot of these cards are so token-based. If one or more creatures died this turn, you gain that much life and distribute that many plus one, plus one counters. That's interesting. Currency Converter also probably pretty good. Um, it makes treasures, which is kind of nice. It does kind of fix, and it also lets us just loot through our deck if we can't cast something, if we really need, like... um you know, a specific land, or if we have to, if we have only, like, only a blue card in our hand and we want to actually cast something, so. Restless Spire, Audacity. I do like a Heartless Act. I guess we can put these over here. No, I like them in the deck, actually. Yeah, I think it's just Heartless Act. Like, I'm actually trying to avoid lands that are coming into play tapped. I don't think Restless Spire is really worth the, the cost. I will take a Rafine's Tower, however. If we are going to get lands that come into play tapped, I do want them to be try lands. This also lets Misty Rainforest 
uh, become four colors right now. Stomping ground, we can get that with a wooded and a misty so far. That's pretty good. Chishiro. Whenever an aura and equipment enters the battlefield, all right. You lost me at that, unfortunately. I do like Goblin Crater Maker. Tribal Flame is interesting. Each creature gets negative X, negative X, where X is one plus the number of basic lands you control. That's just a wrath. What was the other card I was thinking of taking in that pack? Shoot. I wish I remembered. Painful Truths came back. Planar Outburst, also not terrible. I think we're just taking the Painful Truths. Oh, what up, Storm Ricks? I sold Storm Ricks some secret layers earlier, earlier last week. Um, return an enchantment card, the card that isn't a god from your graveyard to your hand, and then you can transform you. I don't think we have any enchantments whatsoever. I think it's just, maybe it's just Kenrith. I don't love how many five drops we have, but I guess we do have a, a worn power stone, right? So that's basically. I do like a shadow prophecy. I think we just take the land here. If we couldn't search for it, I wouldn't have taken it, but we can, so I did. Uh, deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker. Yeah, that seems fine. Whatever. You sacrifice any number of artifacts and or creatures, and it costs two less for each permanent sacrifice this way. And that's pretty much it. Sure. I'm glad I took the land. Oh, man. The urge to open secret layers versus not open secret layers is extremely... It's a frustrating urge, let me tell you. Two less for each basic land. So let's say we have all ten. Or all five, rather. So we get a 4-4 four, four flyer for two. Each creature you control has Vigilance if it's white, Hexproof if it's black, Lifelink if it's, bl if it's blue, Lifelink if it's black, First Strike if it's red, and Trample if it's green. Okay, Draco, I see you. So this is, what, eight lands? This puts us at 18 cards. So we need about five more playables if this is what we want to go with. I do like Farseek a lot. I think we take it over Xander's Lounge. Yeah, that feels correct. And maybe we can get Scattered Groves or Xander's Lounge back. What do you do? Choose an enchantment. Oh my god, once it says choose an enchantment or it references enchantments or artifacts, I'm like, checked out. Equal to the number of land types you control. So this could be a 5 3 for 2. That's pretty good. Uh, create a 1 1 green human monk token. Put a 1 1 counter on each of up to two creatures. Exile this, then transform it into a 2 2 with flying. This is a whole lot of, of, of things that are happening. Might just be fetid pools in this pack. I don't really want a card that taps for nothing. Actually, it could be Walking Blister or Ossification. I don't really want to bank on ba having basics, though. Might just be Evasive Action. I actually kind of like Walking Blister. It fits in the four spot. I don't know how much blue we're going to have to in order to effectively get blue on, on turn two. Could be Worldly Council. Affinity for Artifacts. It's a 4-4 flyer for nine mana. And that's all I need to see. I do like Borborygmos. However, it's five mana, and we do have a good number of five mana cards. Could just be Worldly Council. Could also be Restless Vinestalk. I think we're going to take Worldly Council here. Oh, good. We took Restless Vinestalk. 
Fantastic. Please fix that. Uh, creature tokens have flying. Sacrifice a token to create a 4-4 green beast token. Uh, this is pretty good. Draw a card. You may put a land from your hand on the battlefield. So for three mana... Yeah, I think I like Joint Exploration more than Ponder here because it ramps us into five, which is where we want to be. So again, this is nine, so we have 21 cards. We have room for two more playables, and then we can take lands. Triple Black seems rough. Actually, Solemn Simulacrum seems great for us, right? Assuming we have enough slots for basics, which we should right now. Right now we have about eight slots, so... Watery Grave. Uh, that seems pretty good. We also don't have just a straight blue-black land, so I think we can probably take that. Consider not terrible. If bunny corn wheels, please take. I don't even think we have a deck that's going to... I'm gonna really, uh, you know, benefit bunny corn. I don't think we have a ton of permanents that are gonna be, you know, out. Uh, I kind of like Knight of the Reliquary. That is not the point of bunny corn. My mistake. Uh, I don't know how many forests or plains we're going to have, though, unfortunately. I think we're just going to take Brainstorm. We have several fetches here. Steam Vents seems pretty good. I do like Choops as well. We have Drag, Ruinous Path, Heartless Act, Cast Down. We have a bunch of removal. I'm going to take the fixing. Oh, the Xander's Lounge came back. Fantastic. Okay. And a fetid pool. And a an evasive action came back as well. I don't hate Sedgemore Witch either. She's in actually in my cube as well. And the reason is it's a great evasive creature for Fallen Shinobi. Yeah, I'm going to take the evasive action. Does counter any or just the counter target spell any spell? That's good. I mean, so if we lead with like Xander's Lounge into like Watery Grave, eh, maybe not Watery Grave, uh, Irrigated Farmland, ah, eh, it's gonna come into play. Tab <laughs> Steam Vents will say, nope, that doesn't do it either. Okay, never mind. Just forget this example. Scrubland. If we go lead with Xander's Lounge into Scrubland, um, this is already they have to pay four for it. Oh, good. The Worldly Council came back. Great. I mean, I feel like Kenrith is almost a... Oh, we can actually take out Razor Lash Transmigrant. Like, not being able to block is not what we want to do. This is a definitely a defensive deck. We can put Terra Sunder in the four spot as well. Sylvan Advocate. You're actually pretty good. I'll take Living Death. Um, This is just Dismember, right? It's just a... Not dismember, uh, disfigure. I mean, definitely potentially playable. Okay, so this is 12 lands. means we get five basics. Assuming we have to make one cut. This is definitely more of a three drop. Uh, Terra Sunder is ideally a four drop. We can probably cut one of these fives. I 
Might just be Dragonwing Glider. Kind of unimpressive. I actually, if this is our curve with like walking tear at four, join at three, like this is a pretty decent curve. I'm pretty okay with it. It's definitely a control deck. We have a ton of removal. All right, so <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a okay. Hold on one second. All right, so we have white, blue, black, red, green. White, we have only three. That's great. And then we have five, ten, four, and four. We ended up with actually more blue than red or green. Everything is mostly one except for the black, which is kind of nice. That that should make things very, very easy to cast. Uh, actually, do we want Cave of the Frost Dragon? It's a 3-4. We'll consider it. White sources... What did Foothills? Do you get a white? I do not think you do. So we have five white sources. Is that correct? Looks correct. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Okay, that's probably plenty. <laughs> Do not think we need any other blue sources. I guess I was wrong on that uh, second turn blue source concern. Black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Also very good. Red, we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, okay. Green, we have, this is going to be the worst one. Two, assuming we play a, assuming we play a forest. Uh, for, oh, I guess we're definitely playing a forest now. Um, so we have no searchable green duels, unfortunately. So right now we're just at three. <laughs> so I think we need like two forests. At the very least. Um, we can do one planes. One swamp. So let's put all of this in there. I'm, I'm assuming I'm not playing cave. This is six lands. One, two, three, four. I actually might go to three forests, which I don't love. We're going to go to two forest. We'll stay at two. I think two is fine. Maybe I just, maybe I just put one of everything in two forests. I think that might be fine. Let's see what they recommend. One, one, two, one, two. Eh, we'll go two here, one here. All right. This is... This is something here. We're going to screenshot this guy. All right. Let's see how it goes. All right. Let's see what's, uh, what's what. Um, yeah, okay. This seems good. We have an abundance of Esper lands, but we do have a drag to the bottom. I will keep... Oh, I like that. Huh. I guess we just play this, and next turn we can play Converter and Watery Grave. I mean, I don't really want to drop one of the basics just to play it early. Also, Currency Converter's Treasures could help with the... Um,
with the color issues. Oh yeah, cycle that Ash Barons. All right, so it looks like they are blue-white. We don't know if they have any other supplementary colors. Emery. Wow, that's a pretty good hit. Bloodforged Axe. Oof. Wow, you hit three artifacts. That's really... That's solid. We are definitely going to have to just straight murder that Emery. We have to get Mountain here. I can't... I, I'm not going to, like, risk them... I don't think we need to steam vents here either, so. <sighs> I can see Bloodforged Axe getting out of hand. Target, return another artifact from your graveyard to your hand, sure. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, I guess we can easily discard Swamp here. Okay, I like that. Uh, I will definitely put it under there. Today. Okay, I will always yield to that and hit yes. Play this and we can keep up worldly council to search for something. Sure. All right. Oh, there's your boy. Yeah, let's take that guy. I think I'm one shy, right? Yeah, he cost six. So we'll play the big boat, see if it gets countered. It did not get countered. Oh, he could have made a treasure to do that. I'm not sure which is better. Needing thought monitor back. Okay, sure. Okay, Steel Seraph. Does have menace, Manasio. I want to play tapped. No, so I can go one, two, three. Joint exploration. Try to hit us another land. If we don't, we still have this guy. Uh, we do need. A, I guess we have the second black from there. 
yeah, so let's go one, two, three. Cast with kicker. Um, bottom you, top you, put a card onto the battlefield. All right. We're basically trying to set up this two-headed Hellkite to get a sweet swing. So they're just going to play Thought. Yeah, 2-2 two, 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 two that draws you two is totally fine. Especially when we have Sky Sovereign. Blue and black. I will also draw two every turn. All right. So eight mana, it's a good amount. That's fine <laughs> uh, yeah that's fine might as well hit <laughs> this is crew three right okay so there are, it's, it's a one other creature has base power and toughness three three till end of turn. What does brainstorm do for us right now? Nothing, right? Solemn simulacrum. All right, but now we can play it. And then filter away some some nonsense. Oh, I do like having evasive action and tear asunder for this. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, we can definitely do that. That's pretty good. So I guess I'll keep the land. So we need a black. Green. Oh, I guess we didn't actually have to do that. We could have just paid two for it. <laughs> we could have just paid the two mana. And then also played Solemn Simulacrum. That was... Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Sure. Actually... Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, I'm so sad that I did that. What a dummy. Thank you. Stormrix with the gifted subs. Thank you, bud. Really appreciate it, my dude. Well. Thank you. We can still keep up a base of action and currency convert or something. Oh man. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much, Stormrix. Thank you. A lesson we learned way, way back in the day in the early 2000s when playing Magic was you don't counter the cards that draw you cards. You counter the, the threats they draw from the cards that draw you cards. Thank you. So. To be honest, I just wanted to take a personal for a gift. Well, you know what? I won't even fault you for it. I'll try to I'll try to ignore that. Okay, let's see what you get. 
man, I'm kicking myself for not just using Terra Sunder for two. For some reason in my brain, I thought it was like, uh, I, I compared it. I've compared it a ton to, is it binding of the binding of the gods? Binding the old gods. That's it. Yeah. I, I always consider the two because they're both four mana cards that get rid of any non-land permanent. Oh yeah. That thing's yeah, this is all fine. This is crew three, right? Just to be sure. Yes. Okay. Um, let's. Draw a card, then discard a card. Misty Rainforest. Do I care about you at all? I guess we can get rid of Solemn here. I would actually rather have the land. Oh. That's pretty interesting. So I can just, do I just win here? I just win here, right? We just go one, two, three, four. This guy costs five. Expensive. Crew the Sky Sovereign, kill the Thought Monitor, and then we can have a Counterspell back up. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> they figured it out. They're like, oh, I see. Um, I mean, pillage kills an artifact. It's basically just a, it's just a removal spell. <laughs> uh, cast down kills pretty much anything. Heartless act will kill pretty much anything in their deck. A braid, tear asunder. Okay, I mean, I think we're just fine. Why do our decks feel so much better than our opponent's decks in this format? That's a good keeper. Trilands are so good. I'm such a fan. Oh yeah, that guy's dead. Straight straight up dead. I knew we were going to draw this and I was thinking like can we play it and then go get I guess we're cast downing it cast downing it <laughs> Um, it also lets us keep worldly council up if they don't do anything which I think is also fine yeah let's do that the goal is to get Xandar's Lounge here. Cast it as a down. <laughs> it's not. It shouldn't be that funny. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you think they're getting in there? Oh, they're not getting in there. They're not doing anything. Well, I'm going to do something. Um, Join Exploration lets us put two lands into play. Which puts us up to f four. But then nothing else, huh? I also don't hate just playing Warm Power Stone, but I really don't want to let Steel Overseer exist for two turns. 
Yeah, I'll take the exploration. So what we can do is play something like Island here, play Converter and keep keep up Cast Down. This is also an instant as well. But I like playing it next turn because then we get to have five mana up instead of four. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, until you start pumping other creatures, I really don't care about the Steel Overseer. Oh god. Oh yeah. Get this dude out of town. This is not a vintage draft. This is a cartogra cartographia cube. Okay. Okay, dokie. Um, I'd like Swamp here, keep up joint exploration, and then put a red, uh, like a steam vents into play and and abrade something if we really need to. Opt? Sure, you got it. Main phase opt? All about it. I'm exploring a joint right now. <laughs> well, what a time to be alive. Okay, basic land cycle. Sure, you got it. I honestly feel like the the pre... Like, the, the thematic archetypes in this cube might be a, a, a trap. Like, building around artifacts? Cool, I'll just kill you with, like, a control deck. Like, I feel like the control decks are very good. In soul. So, just to be clear, we get to do one of these jobbies. Oh, we can also tear asunder it and save the abrade. I kind of like keeping tear asunder, though. Do I want both of these? I kind of do. Well, I want to keep land in hand. I'll keep you. Let's go get a steam vents. Like this is just a blowout, right? We got an extra land into play. We drew a card and we got to two for one you. I don't know. I just work here. One, two, three, four, five. Escape to the wilds. What do we got here? Uh, one land. Wait. We put this on the bottom and then we shuffled. So I guess it, it just came back. Uh, I'm going to... Is it worth paying two to activate Currency Converter? Probably. I think we want to maximize how much mana we have next turn. And we can do that if we get a land and discard it. But I guess we can also just play the land. That is totally plausible. Yeah, I got I got concerned. I was like, oh no, what's happening? Uh, well, that's un that's frustrating, but I guess we can get rid of it and then play something else. Sure. 
They have one card in hand. Big oofs, man. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I mean, I think we're just going like Simulacrum War and Power Stone. I think we're just getting rid of Kenrith. Huh, that is good. I think we get a white source here. Eh, maybe not. It's either white or green. Let's say green. Maybe. Hard to say. These are both green cards. We get to keep this up. We'll say green. And touch the spirit realm, getting rid of their guy or a worn power stone. These are the questions. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is ten mana, so we can play six and then keep both of those up. Yeah, we're just gonna play Power Stone here. I don't really care about other Sworn Canonist. I mean, our hand is pretty much stacked. Plus, we got to play three of the five cards, so. Uh, sure. Totally fine. Uh, okay. Does this give Trample? No? Oh, dear. This is... Is this gonna... Stormworks, have a good night, buddy. Did they not? Did they not see that coming? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, I, I, uh, all right. I guess, I guess, uh, a win is a win. All right, round two. Let's see if we can have just as good of luck as we did previously. I'll keep this hand. Uh, I don't feel like brainstorming here is going to really do anything for us. Fight! Now I might brainstorm just to, like, see if we can hit some... Uh, hitting a green source would be great. Wild growth. Wild. Oof. We are in that classic. Uh, no lands. Well, it's uh, frustrating. We can play Warren Power Stone. Put Ob and then Kenrith back, I guess. Because next turn we actually can go Obnixilis and then play a land if we draw one, which would be kind of cool. Unless they don't, unless they kill our Warren Power Stone. And they did. Phenomenal. <laughs> Never didn't have it. Just the exact thing you needed. Wonderful. Well, I'm just going to cast this and keep both of these on top. Put on top, put on top, play my slew, and then pass. All right, so next time we can play Obnixilis. Oh, 
one minute per hour is 1.67% of our lives. So it's not nothing. Well, I'm taking it. Being in your upkeep mill card if it lands, sure. Hey, look at this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Fingers crossed you don't have an answer for Robert Nixilis. Yeah, Chad, I don't think you've ever not, I don't think you've ever seen an ad because you, you know, subscribers don't see ads. Well, if we hit a land, Drag isn't going to kill Obnixilus because he's going to become a 6-6. Six, six. So, I mean, we can just let them play more things out and then drag to the bottom. Ideally, we'll draw a fetch land. That would be wild. Static Suicide with the resub. What up, Mitch? Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. And we're just hoping we hit a land, right? Come on. Misty Rainforest. And if they kill Robert, then it doesn't really matter, does it? What's going on? They got a lot going on. There's a lot of things happening right now. She's talking null in permanent. If you haven't cast this spell this turn, you may cast that card. That's pretty good. Oh, that's what Papa wants to see. Except it will kill Obnixilus now. X is one plus the number of basic lands and we have them all, so that's unfortunate. It's literally the exact opposite of the land we wanted to see. I'm wondering if I should cycle this. Or we can play it. And we can't cast Kenrith with it anyway. Interesting. X the number of lands. I mean, I feel like we just have to play the land, right? We could... Is there a land underneath this one is the question. That's going to make it worthwhile. God, maybe. Let's find out. Yes. But not the way we wanted it to. I mean, it's still a white source, so that's pretty good. I think we're also just going to Heartless Act the... Um... The Knight. Because they have no cards in hand, so... I mean, Obnixilus might just be able to take over this game. And Kenrith can give itself haste next turn, so we can attack for... A lot. There's a lot going on here.
I just have to tell myself that none of these really do much. Really, top X cards plus one, six, and then you can put a creature card into your hand and the rest. On the bottom, if X is five or more, put the chosen cards on the battlefield or into your hand. Sure, so I guess they trade. Oh no, you're going to bounce your guy? Yeah, that's really good. Well, I guess we're dragging everybody to the bottom next turn. Oh yes, they're going to replay it. Wonderful. Okay, so basically Obnixilis died. I really, I, oh my god, I was like, please draw Terra Sunder in my brain. And we did. And that was kind of cool. I mean, god, I want to get rid of both of these, to be quite honest with you. But, like, being able to cast any of their permanents from the graveyard is really good. I mean, I don't want to have to deal with Kogla every single turn, whereas, like... This might take a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine mana. So they can add three cards, three, three counters for every one of their turns. Oh, are they just gonna put Kogla back? <laughs> That's really kind of obnoxious. Unless we draw Hellkite here, that would be pretty sick. Kenrith costs five to put a guy onto the into the thing. Oh my god! We're just calling all the shots here. What in the earth? Wow. I mean, I didn't say Terra Sunder, but I definitely thought it. Uh, white, blue. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Interesting strategy. I mean, if they go to nine here and then we can attack with both of these next turn without getting them blocked. All right. Well, we don't have any artifacts or enchantments. And they're at zero cards. Angel of the Ruins. Seven mana. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. They do have enough mana for it. Okay, but they didn't draw it. I assume it would kill all of... Oh, they would... They, it's, a, it's a choice, right? It's up to two. Okay, you're putting the angel back now during your main phase. But doesn't it cost seven? What am I missing? I mean, you could draw with the blood token, but that's going to cost you. And you only have one card in hand. It also has menace, so that doesn't do very much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we could also just play Walking Ballista for four and kill them as well. So that's pretty cool. It's nice to have multiple ways to kill things. Well, they have white here, and that's it. So they did activate this and put it on top, but then they didn't do anything else. That's weird. 
So they have one card in hand. I mean, we could also kill Kogla and Awaken a Land. We have a lot of options here. The Awakened Land gets haste, right? Yeah, that's nice. Um, I don't know what they could have in their hand. Is Walking Ballista just safer? Probably. Because I doubt they have a counter spell, but they may have a removal spell for the Ruinous, ruinous Path. Walking Ballista, shoot your face. Pillage seems like it definitely needs to come in here. I don't just want to take Brainstorm out. Hmm. Fascinating. Yeah, this seems good. We can definitely find us a, a turn three play when we get to look at like five cards. I guess four cards. Let's not get greedy, right? Oh, Pillage. We could also just go Canyon Slough into Pillage. Into Solly. Hmm, Heartless Act also okay. So I kind of do like Slough here, just because I don't think we need to worry about that. We have tons of things to play, so we don't have to, like, Worldly Council anytime soon. Yep. Goodbye, Kogla. Yeah, I really just don't want you making a bunch of value things. We'll play Vine Stock here. Next time we can go Forest into Solly. Maybe we got a Plains. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Fascinating. Um. Yeah, I just don't want that guy to stick around because they have three forests. <laughs> And now we can actually, uh, Worldly Council, try to hit something cool. Because we're going to have five mana next turn. So if we have, like, an ob, I will definitely be okay with playing an ob Nixilis or something. And we get to look at four. Conduit? Yep. Well, we're definitely getting rid of that as well. Uh, yield until the end step. Oh, there is an Obnixilis. How wonderful. Also a Kenrith. We don't have a white source yet. I guess we're going to just get one with Misty. But then I kind of want Obnixilis in play to get it. Hmm. But I guess if we're not getting <laughs> Obnixilis, we don't need the white source. We don't have any creatures. Draws a card, gains five, put one encounter. Sky Sovereign is also just really good. One, two, three. I think we're just taking Kenrith here. And then we're gonna draw Hellkite. It was an irrigated farmland, okay. One, 
two, three. And then we'll just play farmland. Keep the Misty in case we manage to draw an ob again at some point. Sure. Green Sun for three. I mean, it could be literal nothing. It was literal nothing. Revealed polluted delta exploration, restless cottage, prismatic lens. They okay. Got him. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, you're doing all the things. Hell, kite. Okay, okay, water a grave. That's not the same. Uh, okay, so we could draw a card. We can gain five. I kind of just want to get rid of Tireless Tracker. They have one card in hand. We can also attack with Vine Stalk. Five, activate. Would they go to three? That seems pretty decent. One, two, three, four. We could also play Solemn, get a land, give it haste, attack. That seems better. Uh, I do want to keep the green up. Let's play Solemn. Black, black, green, green. We have tons of green, tons of blue. Good amount of black. I guess we just get a planes here. And we'll just put a counter on Solemn Simulacrum. Sure. Put you to five. And next turn with Vine Stock, we can make the Solemn a base 3-3, three, three, which makes him a 4-4. Four, four. And now he dies, so it does not actually become a 4-4, four, four, but we can draw a card. So we'll draw Hellkite finally. The Scrubland, similar. Four cards in hand. Oh, wow. You just got rid of my whole board. That's not good. Restless Solemn. This only gets rid of Artifact. Oh, an Artifact or a Creature. Oh, that's good. So we can go one, two, three. Get rid of your clock. So that you're on zero cards. And get rid of this guy. Play this. 
and hope we draw Obnixilis. <laughs> and then we can just activate it. I guess we haven't shuffled, have we? Oh, we have shuffled because of Solemn Simulacrum, so Obnixilis could be anywhere. So could Hellkite. Hellkite and Obnixilis just win us the game on the spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, so does Walking Ballista. We have several cards that just win us the game here. That is one of them. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful Robert. Robert. Nicholas. Uh, choose you. And yes. <laughs> crack this guy. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, up Nixilus, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Good times. Good times. We'll see you in round three. All right, we're going to play first. It is round three. We are currently 4-0. We'll keep this hand. It's terrible. But we're doing well so far, you know? And even if we just have to cast this for two to get a third land, I think that's still fine. This just assumes that a second land is going to be on top, you know? But I am assuming that. And I'm good at this game. <laughs> were you ever in a band? No, no, I was never in a band. satisfying any land here would be fantastic that's not a land do we just keep up we can keep up evasive action and then joint exploration next turn that seems fine oh i mean we can keep it up and, and if they don't play anything worthwhile we can join exploration at the end of their turn so Your grandfather was in a band. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's good. That's good. What kind of band was he in, Grandma? This is not super exciting, but it's pretty good. A jug band. <laughs> okay. Here's a land, right? Kapow, not a land. All right, well, now we're just going to go cast you. Sure, you got it. And bottom, and bottom, and not a land, and we're doing rough, and we're not doing great. We didn't hit lands. This is going to be our first loss in the cartography cube. That man loved jugs. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, Grandpa was known for his love of jugs. I guess I can just warm Power Stone here. We could also tear this bitch asunder. I'm gonna Power Stone. I wanna have mana. Did you hear what happened to Mike Sazzle? You know what, man? You could have just left it as the first question and I would have been fine. It would have the joke would have been perfect. Oh, damn. Let's worldly and hit a land and then we can upgrade here. Top three. One land that comes into play untapped. You'll do. Any order. Play ya. Crack ya. Get a scrub land, actually. That seems good, right? Gives a second black. Gives us access to white. So we're going to pass. Let them draw with Bank Buster and then we'll kill it. Oh, man.
Oh, good. Your favorite and mine. Okay, we got a Canyon Slough. Next turn we can Far Seek, so we can put something back we don't want. This is actually pretty good. We can go Slough into Salvo this turn. Um, I have five cards in hand? That's so many cards, man. I don't like it. Uh, I think we're just doing this now. Like, if we wait, they might not play anything, and then they just get to untap, and they get priority. So, oh, we get to kill a guy with no tokens made. That's really good. Never mind. <sighs> it's never it's never easy. Yeah, loose asshole is uh that poor guy. <sighs> so there's a little Kenny. Hmm. So what do we do? Far seek currency converter, keep up. I don't know what they have. I would like to have a land before I play this guy. I know we're drawing Ruinous Path, which I really don't want, so I think we are far-seeking. I guess we take five and go to none life. You're just gonna counter my currency convert? Oh, you're gonna play a spell. I'm gonna I'm just gonna we're gonna go to the next game. I think we're way way far behind here. Um bunch of little dirtily tokens are being made here. I mean we did keep a one lander, so I don't feel terrible about that. I think we can just submit. I think our deck is good. I think we just have to hit lands. I think if it's spelled Sasshole, like I just, I don't think it has enough of the sound. I think Sasshole is actually just hilarious by itself.
like as if I said Mike Sassel, like it doesn't sound it doesn't sound close enough to Mike's you know Let's see what this message is from Katie. All right, well, I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I think if you put the accents on there and the umlauts, yeah, then you're good to go. What's up, Lassian? What's your little tootsies? Your little feetsies? Okay. Watson's under my desk. All right. Let's hope for better days here. Yeah, this is the keeper. Got two lands instead of three. We got playable. We got a we got a we got a sweeper. Nope. All right. Not sure we're winning these this match, but we tried, you know. Oh, that's better. Now we got a it's not, not a mana leak, but I forgot I forgot some of the counter spells that are like counter unless they pay two. Squelch? No, it's not a squelch. Oh good. I'm missing a land drop again. Okay, cool. So that's how it goes. It was good seeing you guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, miscalc, I guess. It's a miscalc. Yep, you got it. Can't counter that guy because it's evasive action. Oh, well, we hit a land. Look at that. Everybody's doing good. I guess I'll take one. One lowly point of damage. All right, well, I was hoping that the lands would keep coming, but apparently they they stopped. Well, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to... I don't really want to... Oh, 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 do they get to play? Oh, are they playing something? Oh, they're just they're just doing that. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just discard here. Frustrating. Missed two land drops so far. Must be nice to not miss any land drops. Cool. And you have actually have an abundance of lands. Um. Sure. <laughs> Fucking fourth land lets me kill both these guys. Cool. Fourth land to kill both these guys. Finally, I think kill both these guys. I guess I'm just gonna keep discarding. No point in keeping Obnixilus when you can't draw lands. So it's okay. Only three lands drawn out of twelve cards. Fascinating. It's interesting that you're just not playing anything into this. Okie dokie. Enjoy your card. And I'm sure you'll just abrade this, so I'll be fine. Yeah. 
to the surprise of no one. <sighs> Exhausting. Oh, now you're going to tap out. Third path iconoclast. Nope. Guess you're just fine in the prisoners. So you have instant and land still. So this is not a... A big, big yet. Do you have... Fascinating. Well, unfortunately, I guess it's Steam events. And cool, you got it. That was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you next time.